Needed a dick prosthetic because my robot girlfriend's vagina crushed mine. Now she doesn't get pregnant, just occasionally craps out a raspberry pie. Amputees with robotic prosthetic arms, have you used your prosthetic to perform sexual acts on yourself or others, and what was your experience? Wasp viewer, the algorithm gods are blessing me, and keep bringing you back for more of my story times. If we haven't met yet, I'm Andrew, one of the best reddit storytellers in the game. While you're here, why don't you like the video, subscribe and hit the bell. If you don't, I'll have to personally come out to wherever you live and duck your mom. If you think I'm lying, I have your IP address silly. Anyways, hope you did that, let's get into the stories. Domo Arigato Fisto Roboto I once used an extended claw toy that I usually use to grab beer to foreplay my girl from a distance. Mate, I'm sure Google can help you find the porn you're looking for. Leave Reddit alone. Probably too late, but I have a serious answer, not a good one though. The skin is too much of a plastic on metal feeling for it to work for me. It's like being jerked off by a skeleton with leather skin. My first year of college, a friend has an amputation just before the elbow. Had a prosthesis that he rarely wore. We were both dating the same girl. He sends me a picture one day of him sticking his nub in her vagina. She's making her O face while he pretends to be attempting to pull it out. The message sent with it was dramatic reenactment of how I lost my arm. I'm not an amputee, but I'm a doctor. Performed a partial colon removal, colectomy, on a prostitute years ago. She needed a colostomy, basically a diversion of the colon directly to the skin. I think you know where I'm headed. Anyhow, there apparently is significant demand for men desiring colostomy sex. I'm rarely surprised by anything I see at work anymore. Edit. While I have your attention, colon cancer can be minimized. Eat a fiber-rich, vegetable-filled diet and lessen your red meat intake. Get a screening colonoscopy at 50 or earlier if you have symptoms or a family history. Not exactly an answer to your question, but I've often mused on. Like, you know in The Empire Strikes Back when C-3P-0 loses his legs and Chewbacca's is carrying him on his back like a sack of gay gold. What would it feel like if C-3P-0 stuck his legs up my ass, unlubricated one after the other, while a load of Ewoks watched, wanking? I'm obviously far too late for this, but I dated a guy with one arm, his left arm ended right at his elbow he was born like that, when I was 18, he was 28. He didn't have a prosthetic, but he did insist on putting his nub inside me. He did try and I reluctantly let him, but it was always just too big to fit in. We ended up only dating for less than a year because I, one too many times woke up to him masturbating to vintage VHS porn on the couch in the living room, and I found a box literally full of different types of pocket pussies and dildos. I was freaked out and left. I once bathed my overweight great-grandmother, who had lost a leg due to diabetes. She was bedridden, and being a good grandson I offered to wash her. When I was washing her stump, a wave of sexual lust washed over me like a tsunami. She kept asking me to clean the rest of her body, but I couldn't leave that stump alone. I found myself licking it and rubbing it all over myself. Her cries for me to stop were drowned out by the pulses of the incoming orgasm. I placed the tip of her nub directly against my anus, and I knew that once I had it inside of me, I would climax almost immediately. Still, I pushed it in and passed out from euphoria. When I woke up, my family was all yelling at me for my perverted fascinations. I'm still not allowed to see great grandma. My girlfriend has a bionic hand. The first day I met her she told me I could ask her any questions I wanted to about her hand. After asking a few normal questions, I was contemplating asking her one more. Thankfully she knew what I was thinking so I didn't even have to ask. Yes, I've masturbated with it. And it feels exactly how you would expect it to, terrible. Later on she would offer to show me what it felt like, but I was too scared of it seizing up and crushing my penis. That fear lasted for a few months, but eventually curiosity got the best of me. Handjobs from a bionic hand are awful. It's like using an action figure or something else made of hard plastic or metal. Stick to the real thing. My roommate in college had a prosthetic left arm starting from a bit below the shoulder onward. 
One time we were drinking and talking crap when he shared this story which I will never forget. His freshman year he was at one of those sorority fraternity mixers and he really hit it off with this one girl. And no matter who he talked to that night they would always end up together again chatting. Both had a few drinks and decided to go back to his room. Things are picking up when he pauses and says one sec as he starts taking off his prosthetic arm. The girl grabs him and says it's okay, but he tries to take it off and again she insists. Picking up on her desire for him to keep the arm on he decides she wants to play around with it. So they start going at it when she unexpectedly grabs the fake arm and shoves the fingers inside her and starts working herself with the fake arm. My roommate is unsure of how to behave as this has never happened to him before. She is working it and working it reaching climax. When she is close to climax she grabs my roommate, stares him dead in the face, and during her climax shouts, never forget the serious tag on reddit. And my roommate is just sitting there all confused as to what just happened. I still chat with the roommate from time to time, I think I'll hit him up today say hi. Oh hey, I can answer this. I work in a orthotic and prosthetic lab for a university hospital. Most people probably wouldn't use any prosthetic device around sensitive equipment. While the microprocessor limbs are a heck of a lot better than the old hooks and claw, they're still nowhere as functional as the original limb. You have to be mindful of your prosthesis as it doesn't have any tactile response, and you have to concentrate on flexing specific muscles to activate specific functions of the device. To make the process easier they're built in functions to assist in everyday task. Most utilize a grip assistance that will actually squeeze harder if it feels what you're gripping is slipping, so if you're not careful you can grip someone too hard, and if they pull away, it'll grip even harder. The strength in the new hands coming out are surprisingly strong, and since the fingers are usually made of a durable plastic or metal, the pressure asserted feels stronger because of the lack of give. All in all it would be a little intimidating to use on sensitive fleshy bits, and I doubt there are many people who have actually used them for sexy times. Source. I build and fit custom orthotic and prosthetic devices. I don't have the exact answer, but I have two tangentially related stories, if you'd like. I met a guy from a small town in Texas who dated a girl in high school that went on to become a Playboy playmate. He lost his arm, mid-forearm as a kid. Turns out, she really liked being nubbed. He said it was awesome, so there's that. He didn't have a robotic prosthetic at the time, but I definitely need to reconnect with him and catch up, apparently. The other was a story told to me one night over drinks by a young man who was on the rodeo circuit. I'll try to do it recreate it here. You guys ever had sex with a midget? Cautious news? Well one night after I missed the short go, I was in a bar up in Wyoming. I was sitting on a bar stool, drinking, and looking to get laid. I wasn't having much luck, Wyoming girls are hyphers, when I looked over to the door and in walks this midget gal. Little person, B. No. She said she was a midget. Anyways, she walked over to bar next to me and climbed up the bar stool next to me. Harscrap, B. No, seriously. She was kinda stumbling on the way over so I figure she was already drunk and I was so. Duckin'. Happy. Well, we start bullcrap pin, and I think to myself, I'm gonna duck this midget. She puts her hand on my thigh and I think, whoa, I may be jettin' ducked by this midget. Little person, be yeah, yeah. So anyways we drink a couple more, and I think, nah, you can't duck her just cause she a little person. Then she tells me about this thing she does with her tongue, and I think, hell yes I can. So I'm going back and forth and she finally reaches down and grabs her leg and throws it up in my lap, and, knocking on leg, goes, what do you think about that? It's a fake leg. So now, I know I'm definitely ducking this me little person so she agrees we gotta get out of there, but I ain't even got a room yet, and she says, don't worry, I live real close. So she takes me outside to her four-wheeler bullcrap come on. No, I swear. Well she can't drive. So I said, settling hat on his head, hell, you baby, let's do this. So we go back to her house, me on the back of this duck and four-wheeler, and I warn ducking to you, she knew what the duck she was going. She told me that, since the rodeo was in town, she decided she was gonna duck her a cowboy. And by god, she did. That little owl gal wore me hairless. 
At this point, after the laughter died a bit, another friend said to him, B, I gotta ask you just one question. When you were mounting that midget, was the fake leg on or off? And, without a trace of irony, B answered, well, on of course, otherwise, it would have been weird. Thanks for watching. What did you think of the story time? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video smash that like button and subscribe so you don't miss any more story times.